Hello redesigners and welcome back to the channel. Today we are in Cove Creek RV Resort here in Sevierville, Tennessee. Now while I'm happy to be glamping here in this gorgeous site, I am super excited about what I have to share with you today. That being said, we're going to come right on over here. Now as you know, our first review was e-bikes on our channel. The first one that I received, I needed a step stool. It was big, it was clunky, it was kind of, it wasn't for the short people. However, this company reached out to us and I was still kind of on the fence, wasn't quite sure because I've had two e-bikes now that didn't fit me very well. But I said, eh, we'll give it a try. So today, I'm happy to share with you the Troxus Lynx e-bike. We're gonna do an unboxing. We're gonna show you what's included and more importantly, does it fit a five five foot stature? And on top of that, Gary, we also are gonna talk about what makes this bike company different than anybody else that we've ever come across. Oh. And that is the five plus years total care package they give you with this and also wow unlike every other bike company that we've seen or had forced down our throats this company wants you to get out there be active go out there and meet their specialists and get on that bike before you buy how do you do that you ask get out. we're going to cover that all in this episode you ready to do this i'm ready let's do it let's kid. do it Right off the bat, you guys need to see this. So we have had many of e-bikes, none of which have been packaged like this. Like this is insane. Look right down to the, oh my gosh, the tie wraps and the, that's insane. This is gonna be quite the effort going into taking this out of the box because it is packed in there that good. So through the magic of technology, we're gonna bounce out, we're gonna bounce back once we have this out of the box and together it will explain to you what that situation was like. Now that we got everything out of the box, it's really important for me to show you guys what's here. And that is the, uh, it is the Troxus power charger, uh, it, your pedals, and they're already wrapped so they're not gonna get all marred up. We even give you the tool to assemble this with along with a wrench and uh, they even give you bike grease which is actually a pretty cool thing. You have a fender and a tire, and that's really it. The most and the majority of the work that's gonna be involved in getting this thing ready to hit the road is really gonna be taking care of all the protective layers that they have. So in about uh, 15 minutes, I'll meet you back with a whole fully assembled bike. Wait a minute. You actually wanted to see this assembled? Hold on a second, because I have to show you this one thing that I have never seen before. Bob, come back here. So there's two, there's a magnet here. So there's nothing that's going to make this come apart when you're trying to put it in the truck, you know, or zip tying it, or just tying it with a rope like we have. I mean, this weighs 62 pounds. It's not awful heavy, but at the same time, if you're doing it by yourself, these magnets, that's amazing. different pros about this bike not really a lot of cons but I'm gonna tell you what my pros are at this point I'm left-handed this has a left-handed throttle you have no idea how easy this is usually my hands get very numb one because I'm sitting so far back and I have to reach this I don't have to reach the display has so much to it it, you'll see it has 1.3 miles on it. This has more miles than my bike sitting over by Humphrey right now. So I'm going to tell you, I'm in love with this thing. <clears throat> the color. This is, I don't even know what they did. If there's like a glaze on here or automotive paint or whatever it is that they did. But it is absolutely stunning. 
I love the fact the seat. I always complain about the seats. I actually like this seat and when you're going over bumps you don't feel like you're going to be sitting in the back seat. So I love that as well. The pedals are super easy. There's no jerking when it takes off on you. It's just a slow, it's just a process and it just goes. So those are my pros at the, at the current moment. I'm sure I'll have plenty of more. Right now, redesigners, here's where it gets good. I'm gonna cover you the parts as the working man here in this outfit who had to put this together. Now, I know there's a wardrobe change, but that's not because of Troxxas and their lengthy process by any stretch of the imagination. It is legitimately 95 degrees here in Sevierville, Tennessee. And of course, the one day I need to film is hot as well, 80s. But uh, Carrie, I want you to get the back of that bike and I want to show you something. I think a lot of bike manufacturers should take note. That is a brake light, folks. That is something that I've seen the top companies that have been promoted around YouTube sorely lacking. A, a night light is good, but I need someone to know when I'm braking. And Troxxas, boy, you nailed it. It's, you nailed pretty much everything on this bike. I'm gonna talk about uh, that removable battery in a minute, but I'm gonna show you around here. I want you to pick up on this fender here too, Carrie. This is one of the only bikes that has a three-point mounting system for the fender. That means that you're not gonna have that floppy fender syndrome going down the road. You know, where that fender rubs the tire the whole way, enough of that. Now, coming up here to the main workhorse of this bike, you have an eight-speed Shimano shifter, which, I mean, just nice and smooth shifting all the way through and, uh, you can't complain at all about that. These pedals are another one that I want to point out. So many of these bikes have folding pedals, but they're always a pain and they get stuck. This here has a nice little finger latch. You pull, you push down, that's it. There's no more of that trying to pull and, and all that stuff. And if you're like Carrie and I, and you're a full-time RVer or full-time traveler, you know that those things can get rusted up pretty quick. Trox has really thought about this and put quality pedals on there. Absolutely incredible. So it has a 55 pound rated cargo rack on the back so you can throw on a couple of travel bags and just hit the trails with some nice drinks. Not alcoholic, of course. All right, let's talk about that seat. This is the only one that Carrie has never complained about. This is a nice padded and spring loaded seat as you can get a shot from under here, Carrie. Fully adjustable. And speaking of adjustments, have you come on this side, Carrie? If you need to adjust that, Carrie has this all the way down because she's five foot nothing. If you need to change that, it has all the way up. Not a problem here. And so many of these bikes don't go that high. And uh, that's a sad thing. But Troxxas again, Troxxas to the rescue, you nailed it. And this here is another thing that I love. This here is an adjustable, every here, handlebars so that if you need to adjust that height, you just pull on that and you put that to where you want it. And it has, come on this side here, you can show these markings so you'll never forget where you had that. And that's a pretty darn good thing. And uh, of course, Carrie keeps hers all the way down. But uh, a couple other things to point out, handlebar adjustments were just as, a, as easy with a quick release. Uh, that's this here, Carrie, you can pull this up and you can adjust this tilt to wherever it is comfortable for you. That's a nice thing. There's really nothing here that is really an afterthought. They did such a good job with this, including the fact that I don't need to have a key dangling from underneath while you're riding. I have Carrie show that keyhole here. There's a keyhole on the side, and the best part about this is you don't even need a key in the key slot to take this for a ride. Okay, but you do need a key in, this, in the keyhole. And these are those nice anti-theft keys. But uh, you just pop this in here. And then you just do this. And there's your battery. Say you want to leave this at the bike rack at Disney's Fort Wilderness, but you don't want little Stevie stealing it from you. You can take that battery away and you're good to go. And that, that's a big thing. So when Troxxas reached out to us, there's a couple of things that uh, if you've been around the channel, you know that Carrie and I don't do scripts. And when Troxxas reached out to us, I really didn't know much about the company, admittedly. And I put them through the ringer as part of our normal vetting process. Not only were they phenomenal to talk to, they answered every single question. And they said, Bob and Carrie, we don't care 
how you do this review. We don't care if it's good, bad, or indifferent. We just want you to give your honest opinion. And that's really what companies should be about. As I said at the beginning of the video, they have something where I have not seen any of these bike companies come out with, and that is they want you to go into a store and speak to a specialist. So you could do a test ride. In fact, they're so comfortable with that, they encourage it amongst anything else to go in there and get all your questions answered before you order that bike. That's a big deal. In fact, you like this bike and you see Carrie out and about and you want to take a test drive, this is Carrie's new bike and she's very pleased with it and she'll let you take a ride as long as you give her a security deposit first, of course. But uh, really, not too much more to go over except for the adjustable shocks in the front. Of course, you have your headlight. Uh, these are not fat tires, which Carrie and I, the older we get, the more we like a normal sized tire. Uh, just really well thought out and I'm going to go back to that paint job that Carrie mentioned earlier at the beginning of the segment, this is, without a shadow of a doubt, an automotive grade paint. This is one of the only bikes that we've seen that's come over to us that hasn't had some kind of chip or flake or something like that. Really, really well done. I can't say enough good things about this bike, so much so that it will be in the back of Bogart in all our travels as we travel throughout the country, sharing our experiences with our viewers. So I'm going to show you one final thing here about how this folds down. I'm just going to show you basic stuff. I get I, you guys know, but this is one of the cleanest ways to break down. Uh, you drop these handlebars. It's as simple as pulling this lever here and just goes. Now keep in mind, it's brand new out the box and everything. So I expect things to be a little stiff, but uh, they nailed it with this. And again, those pedals are just going to go here. Excuse my concrete knees as I was uh, putting this together. But uh, just like that, really easy peasy. And to fold this in half, it's as simple as pulling on this lever right here, popping that over, watch your pedals, and just fold it away. And again, this is incredibly stiff. This is brandy new out the box. And uh, just lean it right on that post, pull this together, and here's that magnet system right here. No more ropes, no more bungee cords, no life hacks. Your bike is now ready just to be picked up and put away. Now, we're gonna get Carrie on the back side of this camera. Carrie and I have a couple of cons and a couple of bones to pick with Troxxas before we close this video out. Carrie. Yes. We've assembled the bike. We've gone over the pros. We've gone over how hard it was to put this together. <laughs> uh, we have covered all our likes. Mm -hmm. And now, Troxxas, we got a couple of bones to pick with you about this yeah, bike. Yeah. Carrie, your con? My con is why didn't you reach out to us sooner? You could have saved me two bikes. This is incredible. The color, the everything, the, the height, because I am so short and it's comfortable. That's all. And I'm going to piggyback <laughs> on that, Troxas. You know, hey, look, I get it. Everybody loves Carrie more than Bob on the channel. That's fine. <laughs> but Bob would like a nice quality bike as well. So, you know, I'm just saying they have that black one that looks perfect it's got that nice brown trim wheels oh, yeah. it's excellent and i wouldn't mind having that five year total care package that they include with this <laughs> bike but i really think um, that if you are in the market does these e-bikes man there's so many people out here using these as we full-time rv oh. throughout the country all different age groups all different styles of living uh and i really have seen some really bad bikes this here is probably hands down and we go on the limb and say it's one of the best bikes i have touched ever especially in the e-bike segment mm -hmm. that's saying an awful awful lot so we're going to leave links below in the video description as well as uh their contact information should you have questions you want to schedule a test ride at one of the store locations you can do that highly recommend troxus links e-bike in all seriousness we want to thank troxus one for tr entrusting us to give a fair and honest review not too many companies are willing to do that and those are the companies that we work with only if you've been around the channel you know and we also want to thank cove creek rv resort for letting us use their special glamper spot this is brand new to the area and uh I like that. It has a hot tub and it is now officially signed off by Life Redesign. <laughs> Until next time, 
from Sevierville, Tennessee, in the heart of the Smoky Mountains. I am Bob. I'm Carrie. And this has been Life Redesigns review of the Troxus Lynx e-bike. Go get one before they're gone.